Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here, and I'm back with another video. I know. So today guys I'm actually going to be doing, I think this is my first life update video. I think this is my first one actually. So I'm going to let you guys know what has been going on. So I'm going to jump right in and do that. I already have all my makeup laid out. I'm just going to do like a simple kind of like everyday-esque, not really everyday, but a little bit more than everyday. You know, if you're feeling yourself every day, that kind of vibe. And I'm also going to be kind of fixing my hair. Honestly, don't mind my wig now. It's been like a little bit over a week and... I need to take it off and reinstall it because, you know, you know when the glue is not sticky anymore. <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, guys, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I want you to join the Sani family. It's a growing family and I want you to be a part of it. Also, give me a thumbs up on this video if you end up liking it, which I know you will. So the first thing I'm going to do is clip back my hair. I'm just going to use these clips right here. I am going to be like uh, fixing up my hair in a second, but just not right now. Oh! It's li literally not even giving me a chance. Anyways, whatever. I don't know. I kind of feel nervous about this. My armpits are like sweating right now. My brows are a little bit wild. I haven't done them, honestly, probably since the year has started. But that's okay because I kind of want them to be a little bit fuller. And they're kind of getting there. You know, I never had fuller eyebrows ever in my life, but they're getting there. So I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. So guys, I'm going to start with quitting my job. <laughs> So guys, I was working at Mac for, this would have been my seventh year. Yeah, for this would have been my seventh year working there. It was a good seven years. I can't lie to you. I learned a lot. I met a, a lot of people. With working there, it's it's honestly just, it's still a retail, whatever. I don't know. I just, I remember when I started there, I was like, I'm never leaving here because I just thought it was like so good. And my manager that I had, oh my God, she's like the best human being in the whole world, honestly. To this day, I've never met somebody like her ever she's like super nice and super understanding that's what made it so much easier to work there all these years now i didn't stay at one location all those years i went to two other locations and they were not like a great experience and i still ended up going back to my old manager every time you know and she and she just took me back every single time you know which i'm very grateful for you know but at the same time as much as i loved it there and i loved her i felt like i don't know i just felt so stagnant it just felt like i was doing the same thing always you know just i was always thinking about my youtube channel when i was there or i always thought about man what would it be like if i didn't work here <laughs> like what would it be like if i just left and just was on my own and i knew in my heart like if when i left there that I wouldn't just leave and go work for somebody else like I told myself if I leave here I want to leave and work for myself for a, even a year even if I could do that and see how I like it you know I was too comfortable so I didn't want to be comfortable anymore and I just felt stagnant and I remember last year October I was like I want a new life next year which is 2020 now I said I want a new life like I want to do something different I want a business, I want this, I want that. Like there was just so much stuff. I was just like, I was just so tired. I was just like, I don't want to do the same routine. Like get a schedule, wake up, do I work today? Get ready, go to work, leave work, come home, sleep, go to work again. It just, I hated it, you know? And I didn't hate my job per se. I just hated that routine. Like it was just honestly played out to me. So I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows with my Makeup Forever Velvet Matte concealer in the shade 5.1 just wanted something new now you know I just I was just feeling so bored and so like oh uh, what am I doing you know I used to just think about like what if I just gave a hundred percent of myself to something that mattered to me like you know I and the thing is I thought I would have quit and just did YouTube full-time that's what I thought you know like oh if I just quit full-time if I just quit my job and just do YouTube full-time my channel will grow right so I told myself I'm like you know what first try being consistent on your channel like with your busy schedule that you have because I was full-time I was working five days a week I think like seven hours or seven and a half hours per shift and I only had two days off so like those days off consisted of me filming and editing you know or doing whatever else I could do so I just said like you know what try to make do with the schedule that you have and see if you're consistent with that because I knew if I just quit my job if I wasn't consistent then I probably wouldn't be consistent once I leave right fast forward the lockdown happened and you know I was off work for I think like two and a half months and then I went back to work 
in May. But the funny thing is, Rand and I, my friend Chanel and I, she's a hairstylist, she was working at a salon and she just didn't want to work under somebody anymore. So we were actually looking for a studio, like a beauty studio to work out of like ourselves. I would literally be saying no to a lot of clients, like potential clients I should say, because I had work and it just used to annoy me. Like if I was getting booked for a photo shoot, I'd have to be like, oh, sorry, I can't because I have work. Oh, I can't do your wedding, I have work. Just a lot of timing issues and I just used to be so annoyed with that. Before the lockdown happened, we were actually looking around for like a studio space. What I was just gonna do is work out of the studio like on my day offs or on the weekends, maybe early mornings or whatever, whatever, right? That was the plan. Because at the same time, I was always doing makeup from my mom's house because all my stuff is here. And I don't know, it's like just strangers inside. I, like if it was my place, I don't care, but strangers in her house, I don't know. I don't know, it just never really sat well with me, but I did it because I didn't have a choice really. Because I didn't want to travel to them and that's taking out of some of the money that I'm going to make. It just didn't make sense to me. I'm just going to set my eyebrows with this clear brow gel. It looks brown right now because I use it all the time. But yeah, we started looking around for places and we thought we found a place and then it just wasn't it. So that was our last attempt before the lockdown. So when the lockdown happened, I just said to her, I'm like, you know what, maybe we should just think about this maybe towards the end of the year because things are crazy right now and blah, blah, blah. So all of March goes by, we're at home inside and then the first week of April April comes and she calls me and she's like hey I found a place <laughs> I was like why are you even looking nobody's outside literally like there's not even cars outside like why are we even looking at anywhere but she's like to me no trust me like come like meet me at this address tomorrow at 12 o'clock I'm just gonna be using some of the born this way um concealer on my eyelids this is in the shade butterscotch but yeah she's like honestly just meet me there tomorrow at 12 at this address blah 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 and I was like no like I'm not like you're crazy man so anyways she tells me to come and I'm like you know what whatever I'm gonna go and see what this is about so I said I'm gonna go and see what it's about and I got there and I was just like this place is ugly <laughs> Like it just looked ugly at, like when I saw it, but it's funny because even though it looked ugly to me I was like, I feel like it can work though, you know long story short We said yes, even though we were in lockdown and we don't know when anything's gonna ha um We don't know when anything's gonna reopen or like when restrictions were gonna be lifted It's like I just said yes. I don't know what it was in me I swear to you like I just I didn't feel like oh my god Like what are we doing or what if we don't make money? Like what if we can't open till next year? Like I just never felt like that. I just felt like, yeah, we're doing it. So right now I'm going to be going into my e.l.f. bite size palette. Uh, this one is called Truffs and this one is called Carnival Candy. Honestly, I'm just going to go in with like these three brown shades right here on my eyelid. Probably more so these two. Um, So yeah, I don't know. I had no doubt in my mind that I wanted to do it. Like there was nothing that made me feel like, oh, I can't do this or I'm not going to do this. I was like, I'm doing it. So then we signed our lease. We said, okay, yeah, we're going to do this. And I trust me, guys, like we were going back and forth on our lease for literally a month. And then May came and we came to an agreement. We signed off on it. So they gave us um June 15th as our start date. Okay, remember this okay got word from work that oh you guys are going to be going back to work on may 26th we were able to go back to work because we were a street level retail like our store had a street level entrance so the mall was still closed but we were able to still be open because we had a street level entrance so it wasn't busy like literally i probably would help like two three people at my counter each shift and the shift will go by quickly it wasn't bad or anything but the thing is it's like while I was there I was always thinking about the studio like the furniture that we need and decorations and all that type of stuff just stuff to make it look how we want it to look so what was happening is I was going to work leaving there running around getting stuff for the studio going home going to sleep next day go to work and then do the same thing over and over after my first week of being back at work I was just like I don't like this anymore you know I just felt like I, I didn't like it anymore I was like this just feels like like just felt even more I felt even more like stuck than before you know because now it's like okay like if you quit what are you gonna do like stuff like that you know I still wasn't too too sure about the whole studio idea because I'm like I don't know how much money I'm gonna make from this you know so I'm just going in with the darker brown from the palette yeah I'm just like damn I'm gonna have to let go of my cushion like how am I gonna do this da, 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 whatever still wanting to pro follow through with it but still thinking like if I leave what am I gonna do so I said you know what I'm not gonna leave I'm gonna I'm gonna write it out and see what happens you know when everything opens back up if it ever does you know now that was my first week 
of being back at work and I was like, I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna be here anymore, you know? Not for any reason there, it's just, I just felt like I was wasting my time to be honest with you. And guess what happened? Remember I said, we were so, our lease said June 15th. Can you believe on June 16th, um, I had a conversation with HR and they basically said like, hey, you know, just like all other companies, they're not doing so great um, and they're gonna have to either cut my hours down to part-time, remember I was full-time, cut my hours down to part-time or or um, to offer me a severance package. Now, by this time, our studio was completely finished completely furnished i already got all of my stuff it was like i didn't care how much anything cost me to set it up i was just gonna put my money in it and that's it i did it i finished setting up everything so it's not like by that time i was like oh yay you know a little bit of extra honestly i was just like okay if i say i take the severance that's it like I'm not working here anymore. You know, that's that's it for me. This is the end. And honestly, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to take the severance. I'm leaving. I am leaving. <laughs> and my last day was the, I think my last day was the week after, either the week after or a week and a half after. I, literally, by the time they told me I had like eight shifts left and it was like, and it was so good. Honestly, I was, I just never looked back. <laughs> Yeah, my lease started on June 15th. I agreed to my severance on June 16th. And then guess what happened? Restrictions were lifted on June 23rd. Literally a few days later, we were able to open. Like, come on, divine timing. Yes. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna apply some lashes. These are the new Cali lashes. I showed these in one of my videos the other day, but they're from Amazon. Um, I'll leave the link down below. But anyways, I'm gonna put my lashes on and then come right back because I'll be here forever if I to do this on camera um, okay so i did my lashes and i did some eyeliner on the bottom off camera because you know that takes me a little while so i didn't want to have you guys here waiting but anyways i'm going to move on to my skin now and i'm just going to be going in with my milk hydro grip primer um i haven't used this primer in a while and i got the small one because i'm gonna have a video coming up um i'm actually going to be comparing these two in a video that will be coming shortly so i just wanted to get the small version so yeah we were officially able to open as of june 23rd and we had like a mini launch party on july 4th and i swear to you guys once we announced that we were open like we were busy like busy 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 i thought maybe because we were just coming out of the lockdown that like nobody was gonna want to come um i'm like maybe i'll have like five clients for the whole month you know just to start out until i build it up a little bit guys let me tell you let me tell you guys I literally, my first month, I made the same amount of money I would make at work, but only working 20 hours for the whole month. I didn't care that I didn't make more than what I would make at work. The fact that I was able to have so much freedom and that's how I was able to make so much content for YouTube and like plan other things, which I'm gonna get into. I was able to do so much and like enjoy my life, enjoy my summer, enjoy my free time, not worrying like, oh my God, like I, ha I have to get home at this time so that I could go to bed, so that I could wake up for work. Like I didn't have to think about none of that okay i literally like i was on my own schedule my own time i could block out the days i don't want to work and it was just so good it was so good like i literally worked 20 hours about 17 to 20 hours for the whole entire month and i made the same amount of money that i would make at work working 30 or just over 30 hours a week at work <laughs> That was the crazy part to me. So I'm gonna be going in with my new fave. This is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade uh, Marquises. I think it's Marquises. Anyways, it's the Medium Deep Five. So I'm gonna go in with that foundation. And I did a review on this foundation recently. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but yeah, so, and then the thing is, and it just kept growing. It's like the next month I was even busier. And then the next month, even busier, you know? This is now going into my, let's see. July, August, September. Yeah, I'm going, I'm now into my fourth month and it's crazy. I have now added lessons to my um, to my services, uh, lessons for a makeup artist and lessons for like beginners, like personal beginners. So I do have some people booked for my lessons and I'm just so happy because it's just on my own time. Like honestly, my own time. With all that free time, guys, I realized that there's so much things that I could be doing. I realized that there's so much things that I could be doing um, outside of doing makeup on on people as much as i love it i'm like wow i could have like another stream of something like i can do whatever you know it's just like if i never took the chance with myself it would have never happened you know i would have never been able to see these results and so i said to myself i'm like you know what i'm gonna start something else that i always want to start i always wanted to be in e-commerce right and i was like what can i 
do in e-commerce. Like I wanted to, I wanted to do something that was still related to beauty, not be completely out of my lane. Lane and guys, I have started my own brush line. So my brushes are actually dropping. I believe it sh they should be coming this month. Um, they're actually in transit right now, so they should be arriving this month. And it is a lot, a lot, a lot of brushes. Okay, so one of them is actually this one, and I have been featuring my brushes here and there in my videos. I think I did mention in one of my videos that I'm coming up with a brush line so yes it is coming so make sure you guys go ahead and follow sandy beauty cosmetics but it's something that like i started i thought it was just gonna be brushes and i said to myself like why stop there i can have more you know it's just like it's, this has just honestly opened up a whole new like door for me where i just feel like i could do whatever i want honestly i honestly feel like i can do whatever i want and I am never coming out of this mode, honestly. It just feels too good. And me, I was never somebody that was afraid of like taking risks. Yeah, I was never, I was never somebody that was afraid of taking risks. So jumping into this wasn't a problem for me. Um, it was quite expensive, but I just was like, I believe in myself. And I don't know. It's just, I I don't know. I just believe in myself. And that's it. That's all I need to convince me to do it. That's that's it. That's all I need. It was a lot of preparation and back and forth and like um you know trying out different styles and seeing what i like and modifying some things and yeah i feel like i'm finally happy with how things are going and how um it's coming along and honestly i just that's it so you guys are gonna see it soon um right now i'm gonna conceal with the velvet mattes concealer from makeup forever and then i'm gonna be using the born this way um, concealer in butterscotch and this concealer is in 5.1 so I'm just super super excited I'm so excited to the point where I got all of my in like I prepped for my inventory already because I have 200 sets of brushes coming and I got some extra storage in my room I cleared out my closet as well so that everything can fit I bought my bubble mailers, I bought some tissue paper, I ordered stickers. Um, the only thing is I had a logo that I chose and then while they're in transit, I picked another logo. So it's all right. I come to realize that you can do whatever you want. You can change anything you want. So like these first set of brushes um, will have one type of logo on it, but my official official logo, I actually changed my mind on it and I'm going to have that on my next set or basically everything else that I come up with. I'm going to have that logo on everything else and also the brushes to come. But I'm really excited about all of this. Honestly, this is going to be my first, like I wrote down on my vision board or I wrote down in my journal last year that I wanted to get into some type of e-commerce. Like I just, I'm so fascinated with business in general and, but I didn't want to be too far off from what I'm already doing. You know, something, I didn't want to do something that I'm not going to like. I'm going to be setting my concealed areas with the Laura Mercier Honey Setting Powder. Um, I've been liking this a lot lately and I'm going to be using another one of my brushes and I'm going to just dip right into that. And you guys know I'm not a huge baker, so I like to just dip off the access or tap off the access and then just press. I just like how this looks better for me. And my under eyes don't get too dry when I do it like this, but I love this brush. This brush is going to be very like multi-purpose because I'm going to use this to set my under eyes and I'm going to use it for my highlighter and probably my blush. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so look out for my collection, guys. But like I said, follow me on Instagram at Sunny Beauty uh, Cosmetics and you guys will know when everything gets here. It's just so, it's like a liberating feeling and I just feel like, wow, things are going like too good right now, you know? But I'm trying to not think that because naturally I'm a very skeptical person. Um, it's weird, like I'm a skeptic. I'm a skeptical, risky person. It's weird. Um, I'm gonna set my face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder per usual. And again, another one of my brushes. And I'm just gonna go in and set my face. Yeah, so I'm just really enjoying the process thus far. And yeah, I'm anticipating like a low, of course, as any as anybody would expect. Like it can't always be a high, there's also lows as well. So I'm anticipating a low, I'm prepared for lows. Um, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine, it's gonna happen. And I don't know, I feel like I'm just gonna push through it. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna go into my Morphe Brontour palette in the shade Showman. You guys know I love this palette and I have a new one. Thank God. <laughs> you guys have been seeing my broken one for like months. <laughs> but I refused to throw it out because it was still good. So with everything that's happening, I honestly didn't think my year could get any better. <laughs> but I was wrong because I got engaged. Like, can you believe? <laughs> I honestly can't believe it. Like, I'm still in shock. It's like every time I feel something on my hand, I'm like, what is this? And then I'm like, oh yeah, 
it's my ring yes girl she is engaged like yeah i am getting married to my bff literally yeah i don't know maybe i'll do like a detailed video on like how it happened and all that stuff type of stuff but yeah guys i am getting married i'm getting married there's so much things to think about honestly from that day and on i've had like a lot of things to think about everybody wants to know like okay so when is the engagement party when when what's the wedding date and, da, da, da. and it's like yeah you want to enjoy being engaged but at the same time i know that everybody is trying to get married next year everybody from this year is trying to push their wedding into next year and we don't want to prolong like we don't want to drag out the engagement process or our engagement time so we also want to get married next year so as much as I want to enjoy it enjoy being engaged I need to kind of like hurry it up a little bit you not really hurry it up but honestly like you know before things just get booked up or or whatever you know it's just I know it's gonna be a crazy year next year like it's gonna be crazy uh, okay so for my blush and my highlighter I'm going in with the makeup Shayla and Colourpop collaboration this is Construct. Then I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and Molten Gold. And yeah, yeah, I'm marrying my best friend. I'm marrying my BFF, literally. Like, I, like, we do everything together. We do everything together. And we've been together. This is our fourth year. So yeah, if you're watching this, which he will be, because <laughs> he watches all my videos, I cannot wait. <laughs> But guys, look, I applied the blush, I applied my highlighter, I set my under eyes all with the same brush. Like, ooh. So yeah, guys, a lot of planning. And can you believe I bought my dress already? But guess what? <laughs> I got dress fished. So I'm going to do a video on that. Actually, it's probably going to be my next video or next next video. I got dress fished, guys. Like, I literally got a dress online. And when I show you guys, you guys are going to be like, huh? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna set my face now. I haven't spoke about it really on my channel. Like, I got engaged actually in August. It's now October and I'm only mentioning it to you guys now. That's how much I was really trying to just wrap my head around this whole thing. Like, me? I can't believe, you know? I, and I used to be somebody that did not want to get married. Can you believe this? I was just like, no, I don't need to get married, blah, blah, blah. When I was younger though. <laughs> younger and maybe because i didn't think it would happen i don't know but guys anything you want you can have honestly you just visualize it and as he thinketh as it be i don't know if that's how the bible says it but you know what i'm trying to say okay guys so for my lips i'm gonna be going in with the morphe bar lip liner i love this lip liner so much i actually bought one and then i lost it and I just found it again like a few days ago. And then for the lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nude. I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Faith Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Corset. I believe this is Corset, either silk or Corset. But I'm going to leave the name down below in the description box. Actually, I want you guys to check out this collection, okay? This is the Nude AF Collection and take a look like come on look at these colors look at that brown and there's a clear and everything in there so collection but i'm gonna go in with this one this is the lighter nude i love my lip combo shout out to anisha faith guys go and follow oh my goodness these lip glosses are so good i'm gonna just fix up my hair right now because i am going to my studio it's saturday and I'm going over there. I'm there literally every every Saturday is like fun to me there. <laughs> I love going in on Saturday. So um, yeah, so let's get this hair fixed. I need my spray bottle. Give me a second. I've been working on prepping for my brush line for like the past four days now, like making Excel sheets and um, ordering things for our inventory. I think I'll show you guys at the end of this video because I'm still like excited. And then I have my classes. So I got some stuff for my classes as well. So I have... I had a big Amazon package come and yeah, so I'll show you guys at the end of the video, but yeah guys, um, so I have had my hair like braided, like I braided it in two pigtails and then just had it in my bonnet for like four days. Even though it's been in my bonnet for four days, guys, this hair literally comes back to life, okay? So, two, so the two things you're gonna need is some gel and some mousse, like that much there, maybe a little bit more. 
and I will literally just run that throughout my hair, just gently throughout the hair. This mousse is the B&B foaming mousse. It's very moisturizing. And then I take a little bit of gel, like not a lot, maybe like that much, rub it up, and then I just lightly go through the hair. Now I'm gonna do my baby hairs. I'm gonna be using the Got To Be Glued Gel, and it's the black one, and I'm gonna just lay my baby hairs with that. This wig just needs to be taken out and reinstalled, honestly, because part right now that's frustrating for me or that's kind of stressful for me with being um, engaged is that, like the, the planning part is giving me anxiety, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not want a wedding planner, and we are trying to do like a very affordable wedding because both of us actually feel like it's such a waste of money to spend a lot of money on a wedding. So I still want luxury, but on a budget. <laughs> I don't know, to each his own, but for me, I'm just like, you spend so much money for the one day, and then when you wake up the next day, what do you say to yourself? Like, how do you, I don't know. Yeah, nonetheless, I'm super excited. I'm very happy, I'm very grateful. Oh, I did tell you guys that I'm gonna show you what, um, what my little, what my inventory prep is looking like. <laughs> so let me bring you guys over there right now. So guys, this is the big box that I got from Amazon yesterday. Um, it had so much stuff in it and I still have a lot of things coming. So I have some tissue paper on this side and I have um, one pack that's already opened because I wanted to see like how big it was. Um, I was gonna buy some crinkle paper on Amazon or on Staples website, but guess what? Whenever I get PR packages, crinkle paper comes in the packages so i said hmm reuse reduce and recycle right so that's that i also have some tape in here i probably won't be using it and this little thing was in one of my alex drawers also don't mind my fingernail because i was trying out another nail polish and i ended up not liking it so yeah um in my next drawer i have some bubble mailers you know this is 50 bubble mailers in this one drawer i have another 50 stored away but these are from this brand on Amazon, HB Life, whatever. So it's a 50 pack padded envelopes in the six by 10. And they were so affordable. I think they were like 20 bucks for 50. So I'll leave that link down below if you guys care. But anyway, and yeah, and then the rest of the drawers are empty except for this one. I am gonna empty it, but I have all my nail stuff in there. But the rest of the drawers, I'm going to keep all my inventory in. Also, I got some white craft bags because if anybody wants to do any like pickup orders or anything. And I'm also going to be using some of these for my um, class, for my lessons that I told you guys about. I got some folders for my students that come to my lessons because I do have some um, paperwork that I'm going to have in here for them. And then these things in here are for the people taking my class. Um, so I have some uh, mascara ones. And then I also have these... Um, makeup palettes, makeup stainless steel palettes with the spatulas. But yeah guys, that is the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video, it's, it was a different style to be honest. I've never done a video like this. Kind of talked through life update and I showed you guys a little bit of, you know, some behind the scenes. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Whenever you give me a thumbs up guys, it lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content. So please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But I would love to know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know like how 2020 has been for you. Let me know just let me know anything like um and I want to know what's been going on with you guys like what do you have planned even for 2021 I need to start thinking about 2021 from now because it's coming quick guys honestly don't forget to join the Sani family it's a growing family and I want you to be a part of it bye guys